In my last handheld gaming video, I described my Amazon Prime Day 2021 experience and the purchase of four retro handheld gaming consoles. As a reminder, I chose four different handheld game units that range in price from around $10 to $50. And I had about $120 of affiliate funds available and that became my budget for this experience. So first of all, thanks to everyone out there who supports the channel. Again, as a reminder, the four models I've purchased that are part of this series are the Great Boy Portable Handheld Games for Kids, preloaded 380 classic retro games with three and a half inch big color display and gamepad rechargeable arcade gaming system. These are the titles from Amazon. Number two was the Handheld Game Console 390 Classic Games Link 4 Retro Mini Game Player with three inch LCD color screen rechargeable battery, portable retro video gaming console support for connecting TV and two players. <sighs> In this episode, we continue our series of long-winded titles with the Fate Fan Retro Game Console with 500 classic games, handheld game console supporting two players, TV connection, 1020 milliamp rechargeable battery, and it's in green. Let's see what this Fate Fan can do. And here we have the Fate Fan box with no identifiable features to let me know that the brand is actually Fate Fan. We just need to open up the box and make sure that we have what we ordered inside in green. Here we go, opening, uh, got a lot of stuff in here. We gotta be careful not to have things just drop willy-nilly as we did in the last video. Here's our battery. This is, battery is a common battery for these handheld retro consoles. If you remember in the Great Boy, it looks like it might be identical. Let's see if we can get that case open. And yes, it is, it is an identical battery. So we could, in theory, buy a couple of these handheld retro devices and swap out the battery. Eh, at least I've got a spare on hand if I need it. It will say that the batteries have been holding out well, so not too bad. Let's take a look at this second controller here. Let's get this thing unwrapped. Unfortunately, it does not match the green of the Fate Fan that we ordered. We get it in red, so now we have a red and green Fate Fan, but if you compare it to our Great Boy, it is a more substantial controller, a little bit larger, a little more traditional in that Super Nintendo or NES system form factor. It is, of course, USB. Again, I'd like to try these on a regular PC and see if I can get them to work. This is our video cable, standard with all these devices. We'll be using that later because we will throw that into our capture device and share some games. And here's our charging port for our USB power. Here are our instructions in Chinese. Let's get that flipped over in English. There we go. Now we can take a look and see what we have inside. Installation, battery installation, battery safety. We have all kinds of, we have troubleshooting. Let's go ahead and insert our battery and see where, where's my bat, where, who hid my battery? Oh, I, I hid my battery. All right, let's go ahead and get that battery back in here. Let's put that battery cover back on the Fate Fan. Get that. I'm afraid that's going to fall. No, actually, it held pretty well. Okay, let's turn. Oh, I'd, wow, before I turn it on, let me talk about these buttons. These are horrible. I'm not looking forward to trying to play with these buttons. They're very hard to press, and I hate that little controller on the right that has that long strip left and right instead of separate buttons. Uh, not a fan of that. So far, and as you know in the previous video, not a fan of this form factor, but we do have 500 games. 500 games games and we'll be taking a look at a few of those the complete list of 500 games will be at the end of the video so stay tuned for that so that you can see that complete list let's see if we can start a game here and compare and see what the screen looks like you do have some reflection apologies for my bald head showing up in the screen here's the screen it's pretty good it's a little dim it's probably more dim than the other two units the link four and the great boy that we've looked at we are going to tear this thing apart in a minute and see if the internals are different from the link four which is a similar form factor playability it seems good no lag seems pretty comparable to the other two units that we looked at again not a fan of these buttons at all it's hard to play uh, just for the controllers alone, I'm maybe not a fan of this unit, but you know what? We need to take it apart, look inside, and see what makes this thing tick. First of all, we'll remove that common battery that we find, but let's go ahead and grab the screwdriver and get this thing taken apart. Not much holding this thing together except a single screw. It's gonna be easy to pull this right off. We'll get this main board off here in just a second, flip it over. And similar to the Link 4, we do have 
the LCD screen on a ribbon cable connected and loose. Here is our processor. If you want to know more about the processor for this one or any of them, look at the companion blog post. I have all the information for the processor, including the data sheets. If we compare this to the Link 4 internals on the right, you'll see that they're very similar. Uh, but not the same. I do not suspect that they're by the same manufacturer as I did before I opened these up. And again, you see a different layout on the circuit board, the printed circuit board, as well as differing processors. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this thing put back together. And once I get it put back together, will it be operational? That's always the unknown when I tear these things down. I'm two for two. Let's see if I'm three for three. Success. We do have an operational fate fan after I've torn it down and put it back together. Let's turn that volume down just a little bit. Like most of these units, that these have some really annoying background music, so you might want to turn that down and then change the volume once you actually find a game that you want to play. Now, there are 500 games. Most of them are not good. There are a few retro classics in there that I will pull out and add at the end of the video. But if you've liked what you've seen so far, be sure to subscribe. Do all that business down at the bottom. Thumbs up. Get some alerts. If you have a handheld console you'd like me to look at, email me at retrocombs at iCloud.com. And stand by for some games. And at this time, as always, I'll end this video with a big Retro Combs out.
Ha <laughs> ha